It's January 5th here in southeast Wisconsin, and as you can see, my sap is already flowing. We're about six weeks earlier than our normal tapping uh, date, which is February 20th. With the right weather conditions, even in early January, the sap will start to flow. We've just put in one test tap. We're going to try and see how much sap we get over the course of the season by tapping early versus tapping at our traditional time. We have about half a gallon on one of our taps. The other one had about two thirds. So after four days with these two taps, as of January 5th when we tapped them until now, January 8th, we've picked up about five gallons out of two taps. Not too bad considering how early it is in the year and the ground is partially frozen yet. So we got up to 48 degrees here Fahrenheit today. That is just uh, three or four days after we were 27 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So you can see we, we've got about a gallon of sap here that we got from a couple of taps. They started to run a little bit, but the temperatures are cooling off. The sap flow has stopped, and we're looking at high temperatures that'll stay below freezing for the next two weeks. We have some filtered sunlight. You can see a little bit of the shadow from my head on the tree. So even at 30 degrees, that's all we are at, folks. 30 degrees, it's below freezing. We can still get a little bit of sap to start to come along. If your trees are in a sheltered location between the sun's warmth and that sheltered spot, you might get a little sap to flow. And you can see there's about a quart of sap in there. Now, if we look over on the other side of the tree here, uh, here's another empty one gallon container and there's just a little tiny bit in here. So at this stage, tapping early has proved to be a very smart move. We've gotten five gallons of sap so far out of this tap. We've gotten, oh, maybe two ounces out of this one right here. So, so far, if you wondered about tapping too early, Go ahead and tap. Seems to be a smart move. We'll see what happens though when the temperatures warm up. If this tap starts to get uh, gummed up with bacteria and starts to slow down and whether or not the other bottle on this side of the tree will catch up to it. There's some variables here of course. Different root systems and uh, the tree itself, how it's a little different. So we'll see. We'll compare the two. See how they do over the course of the season. We got up to 60 degrees here today. This is our tap from January 1st. There's probably a little over a quart in here. Here is our tap from just a few days ago, uh, a little bit less than a quart. So thus far on the season, we have about uh, a little less than two gallons in the more recent tap. Our January 1st tap is still producing and we have about almost eight gallons out of this one. So, so far, Tapping early seems to have worked pretty well. Folks, this is that early tap that we did on January 1st. Look at that nice flow rate we're getting on there. So some people have said, hey, it's going to start to clog up. Maybe that'll happen when it warms up even more. But uh, right now, you know, uh, two months after we tapped it, she is still running really nice, really nice. Just wanted to throw that out there for people who have commented about tapping too early. It doesn't seem to have affected it so far. Well, this one was tapped January 1, still running just as much as the other one. We have a total of 20 gallons so far out of that tap. On the uh, bucket with the blue lid, we have 14 gallons out of this. That six gallon difference, it's never caught up so far. So for folks who have said, hey, if you tap too early, it's gonna stop running, it's gonna stop flowing. So far, that has not happened. The uh, tap on the left, we uh, put in on January 1st of this year. And so far for the season, it has collected 21 gallons of sap. Over here on the other side of the tree, this tap right here, uh, we have, we tapped it on March 9th and have collected 15 gallons. The early tap right here on January 1 is still dripping just as fast, actually a little faster, than the one that's tapped on March 9th. So early tapping, not an issue. Not an issue on our tree. We're gonna pull the taps on these. Our season's about done. 
this tree could go a couple more days but all the rest are done so that's how the experiment worked on our tree for this season got the tap on the left 21 gallons tap on the right 15 gallons this is the uh, later tap on March 9th the early tap on January 1st never caught up never caught up